Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to today's episode of the Big South Outdoor TV. Today, we're going to be changing the oil in the bride's car. For this particular job, this is a 2006 Jeep Liberty. It's got the 3.7 liter V6. To change the oil in these vehicles, you need two things. It's an oil filter wrench and a half inch or 13 millimeter socket. This one will take the plug out of the oil pan. This one will not only take the oil filter off, it will also take the oil fill cap off, which on these vehicles tend to get really, really, really tight for some reason. All right, guys, you've heard me say in the past that I live in the dirty south. Well, this is one of, the, one of those, those times when that, that term applies very well, because this job, you will get dirty. Anyway, we got to take this cap loose. This is the oil fill plug. I'd always use a, rent, uh, a socket because it always determines whether you're loosening it or tightening it. So you put it on there, get a good firm grip on it, break it loose. And once you've broken it loose, you slide your oil drain pan under it. You can then take it off by hand. Don't worry about getting oil on your hand. You can, you can wash up afterwards. Don't worry about getting your hands dirty. Don't be afraid. It's a little warm because we went to church this morning, but a warm oil drain is what you want because it, it, the, the viscosity is thinner and it'll drain quicker. And you just sit here and relax and wait for it to drain. All right, as you can see, it's uh, relatively thinning out from the drain because all the oil was drained down to the bottom of the pan and it was thinned out from the heat of the engine. So it doesn't take long for it to drain. This, this particular vehicle holds five quarts of synthetic blend motor oil. You let it drain until it starts to drip slowly. Then you put the oil fill plug back in, tighten it up, and wipe the excess oil off. You see how slow it's dripping. It's, you're not going to have to sit here and wait until every little bitty drop drips out. So just put your oil fill cap back in there, your oil fill plug, bolt, whatever you want to call it. Screw it in there. Wipe the excess oil off of it and slide your drain pan out of the way. Take your socket, ratchet. You have to turn it to tighten, which is kind of difficult under here. There we go. And then you turn it until it snugs up. Like that, it's snugged up there, and you get another good bite on it, get some leverage on it, and pull it like that until it's tight. And you're done underneath the car, except for the front where you got to take the oil, uh, the uh, oil filter off. So let's do that. Okay, guys, you can't see me, but you can hear me. But here I am, right here. See my hand? Here's the oil filter right here. I've already broke it loose. So you just take it and turn it. You have to turn it. It's kind of tough to get loose but once it breaks loose. It'll, the oil will come spilling out, but just turn it real slow with your fingers, and you'll feel when it comes off the, the block bolt, and it just drops, and you just carefully turn it over like that, and it'll drop right out of your hand. Okay, guys, we've got the old oil filter off. Now we're ready to put the new one on. We use Wix products. They seem to do really well. The number for this particular engine is 51516. That is the Wix oil filter for the 3.7 liter V6 in the Jeep Liberty. We, in this vehicle, we use the Castrol GTX high mileage. It is a synthetic blend motor oil and the weight is 5W30. And here's what you need to do. You need to set your oil filter up, open up your can of new, not a new bottle of oil, take your finger, dip it in there, and make sure to apply oil to this gasket. It makes it soft and supple and gives it a good seal when you put it back on the engine block. And uh, I'm, going, I'm, going to, I'm going to take a second, stop filming, I'm going to crawl under and get this put on, and then we'll show you what to do from there. Okay, guys, we've got the oil filter installed, got the oil drained, got the oil plug back in, tightened up. So now it's time to install the new oil. So here's the oil, oil fill. You see it says 5W30 right there. Let me adjust my thing a little bit smaller. These things right here tend, for some reason, maybe it's the engine heat, they get extremely tight. You just take this oil filter wrench, break them loose, and take them right off. And here's 
where you here's where the fun comes in. Or the so that, should I say the easy part? That's one down, four to go. I don't know how often you change your oil, but we like to change ours about every 4,000 miles. Depending on the oil you use, this Castrol GTX high mileage synthetic blend oil, it's good for four to 5,000 miles, but just to be on the safe side with this engine being having a life, uh, lifetime powertrain warranty, we like to keep with 4,000 hours. I mean, I'm sorry, 4,000 miles. Now what I like to do on the last court, I usually like to take it down to between a half and a quarter and stop, crank the engine up, let the oil filter fill up, and then I go from there, I go from there to um, fill it up completely. That way you don't, you, you're sure you're not overfilling it. Alright, okay, we got the about four and a half quarts of oil in it. I'm gonna crank it up, let it run for about two minutes to fill up the oil filter, let it drain down in about 20 minutes. I'll check it and see how much more oil needs to be applied. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. We got the oil drained, we got the oil uh, put, new oil put in, and uh, I've run it for a few minutes, checked the oil level, it was about a half a quart low. I topped it off, and the next time we drive it, I'll check the oil right afterwards to make sure it's at the proper level. So anyway, thank you for watching. This is Brian with the Big South Outdoors TV. Be sure and hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell to get notifications of new content. Have a great day.